Okay, and welcome to Charlie's desk. Um, I had a request for more videos about um, the refreshable Braille display on the, because I took a, uh, a Braille Light 2000, but I didn't like continue taking it apart. So now we're gonna like go to a subsection of taking it apart, just taking apart the actual um, Braille display part. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was so I said it's like the size of two packs of cards together it's made out of black plastic and green silicone chips and it's like a little game of whack-a-mole of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen cells um eighteen cell game of whack-a-mole with eight dots in each cell um, and then it had this rack that I held it in and I just totally had to like rip it apart to get the bolts out. I could not, they were like glued in. So, um, so yeah, that's what that's like, a little aluminum thing. And then the, um, each, each, um, braille cell is composed of like an individual, you know, sort of L shaped contraption that pushes the dots up and down. And they're all linked together by a computer chip across the back that I would say is about four inches long, one inch wide, and they all plug in. And I'm just gonna demonstrate just pulling one of them out. Oh, I pulled a couple out, I pulled three out. So they all have a little sockets that they go into um, on the, the chip on the back that has a rainbow wire that connects to whatever other chips were there, but I'm really, that's really beyond me. So I'm more interested in the mechanics. And last time I talked about how there's like the, what is it, piezo effect with the crystal that expands when you apply a current. So I'm gonna talk about, uh, I have like three iterations of this thing. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit. Okay. So here is, whoops, there we go. Here is just one unit. It's got eight dots in the cell because it's computer braille. You can see on the right hand side of it, um, there's like a terminal that chip ends and you can plug it into the socket. There's a yellow piece of plastic covering up something. And then, oh yeah, no, I don't want to show that side yet. And then you remove, <laughs> then you remove the plastic cap. See, it's like I have things ready in the oven like this is a cooking show. You remove the plastic cap to reveal these, um, the dots, which are actually just um, really little skinny dowel things. They're long, they're about an inch long. I'll take one out. See, it's just like a little, little plastic stick. And then what's so remarkable to me is, is the lever system. So, um, each dot is connected to a lever, and the lever looks like it's composed of two thin pieces of metal sandwiched together, and they go all the way back to the right, and they intersect. It, they look like little tweezers, each one of them. So there's four tweezers on each side, and each set of tweezers connects with the base. And then when you apply a current, I guess something happens does, do the tweezers expand apart? I don't know. I, I don't have a little machine that um, applies current, but maybe I should get one. But yeah, so each of the four levers is connected to a wire, which is connected to a computer chip. So as you might imagine, the software dictates, you know, apply a current to this dot, apply a current to that dot. And that is your whole little deal. So I'll take all these things out. You can hear them falling. Those are just the little plastic sticks that make up the braille dot. And there's this yellow plastic covering to sort of hide the interior of, of other, just from view. And so yeah, this is just the individual, the individual braille cell mechanics. Oh, and that's, that's one of the things, that's where I really wanted to get back to. So this little lever system, right? The future, right? So then, but let's just go back way back in time and look at a similarity from the first ever mechanical brailler right in the back of it um you can see 
and I'll press the keys so you can see them move, hopefully. Uh-oh, my phone's gonna fall. <laughs> yeah, so there's levers. It's, a, it's another lever system. So in this case, I have to apply pressure myself to get the lever, levers to move to create movement of the braille cell dots. Um, and then in the future, you know, you can just apply an electrical current to a little crystal that's connected to each dot, um, causing the dot to rise and not to emboss paper in this case, but just to, to be felt by the fingers. So that is just a little bit more detailed look at um, a refreshable braille display from probably the early 2000s. So um, someone will correct me on that. But yeah, no, this is, it's, you know, just taking it apart is pretty fun. So keep asking questions and, um, you know, I'll do my best to get going. Didn't do the best job describing for this one, but whatever, whatever. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.